Hi everyone! Welcome to the WSO2 IDN Server User Management Training video. In this video, we are going to discuss an overview of users, claims, permissions, user rules, and how this information is stored and managed. Let's begin by understanding why we need user management. User management helps to manage user identities securely and efficiently within the IAM solution. It defines and manages access rights and grants relevant access rights to users based on their authority. Now that you have learned why we need user management, let's learn what users and claims are. A user is a digital representation of a physical user or an entity that requires access to applications or resources. For example, John Doe, a physical user creates a user account to access an HR application, an accounting application, and a sales application. In day-to-day -day life, we have many such user accounts to manage. User claims are the attributes that claim the identity of a user. It can be the first name, last name, date of birth, or anything that represents the user or is uniquely associated with the user. The claims that are used to define the user identity depends on the organization's need. For example, your employee ID is used to represent you within your organization, while your social security number can be used to identify you in the government institutions. Now let's learn about permissions and roles. Once a user is signed into an application, depending on the job role, the user will be permitted to access certain resources and restricted from accessing the rest. For example, John Doe, who is from the logistic team, will only be permitted to waive the user information, while Jane Doe, who is from the HR team, is permitted to waive, edit, and delete users. Based on the job profile, the organizations can choose to grant permissions to access resources. However, granting permissions to each employee separately is a tedious task. A user role enables grouping the permissions that are relevant to a particular job profile. Organizations can simply assign these pre-configured user roles to users and grant controlled access. With role-based access control in place, resources will only be accessed by the users assigned to the related user role. Role-based access control also reduces administrative costs by enabling to effectively manage the permissions of the user roles. For example, if you want to add the edit employee permission to the senior management team, you can simply add that permission to the related user role without having to add the permission to each user separately. Similarly, if you want to revoke the delete employee permission from the HR team, you can simply remove that permission from the related user role without having to remove the permission from each user. Role-based access control also enables to easily comply with regulations such as GDPR that focuses on privacy. Let's learn what user stores are. A user store is a repository that stores user and role information. LDAP, Active Directory, and Relational Database Management Systems are commonly used user stores. The specialty of WSO2 Ident Server is that it's capable of connecting with multiple user stores at once. We have now come to the end of this training video. Let's have a quick recap of what we learned from this training. First, we got to know why we need user management. Next, we got to know about users, claims, permissions, and user roles. Finally, we discussed about role-based access control, its benefits, and about user stores. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to get in touch with us through the following channels. Our email is iam dev at wso2.org. In Stack Overflow, tag your queries with WSO2 or WSO2IS. And 
our Slack channel is wso2is.slack.com. Thank you for watching. Hope to meet you in another exciting training video.